Throughout the last couple of years, all of the spotlight has been on LaMelo Ball. It doesn't matter what team he is playing for, he is always going to be the center of attention. Whether it's good or bad, that's just the way it is. But with all that being said, with all the media attention that he has had, he has been able to give a lot of his teammates some exposure. There's two players that most people already know of, and the first one is Will Plumer. I recently did a video about him and he approved it himself, so make sure y'all go check it out. But the teammate that we are going to be talking about today is Rocket Watts. When LaMelo first came back from overseas, it made Spire Academy a household name overnight. And to make things even better, they were already good. LaMelo Ball wasn't just going to carry everybody. Rocket Watts could really do it all. He was a knockdown shooter and just an overall lights out scorer. Rocket Watts graduated in the class of 2019 and basketball fans were excited to see what he was going to do on the next level. But unfortunately, we don't hear about him on the basketball court as much as we used to. What happened to Rocket Watts' basketball career? What's good everybody? Welcome back. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to take this time to shout out all my subscribers that consistently show support to my videos, especially the notification game, y'all the best. But if you're new to the channel, make sure that you let me know down in the comments and follow me on Instagram. I be responding to all my DMs too, so don't be afraid to hit me up. And last thing, make sure that you guys go and subscribe to Hurricane Isaac. He's an upcoming YouTuber. I'm gonna leave the link down below. He does all type of content, man. From reaction videos, sports, album reviews, sneaker reviews, college experience, health and fitness, story time, all of that stuff, man. This is a channel that you would never get bored with, so go subscribe ASAP. But enough of all that talking. Let's get back into this video. I can honestly say that I haven't heard about Rocket Watts until LaMelo went to play for Spire. Let me know if y'all already knew about him before this. But anyways, just because I didn't know about him doesn't mean that he wasn't legit. Rocket Watts is a 6 foot 2 point guard from Detroit, Michigan. His name was ringing bells way before LaMelo came into play. He was the number one ranked player in the state of Ohio and he was ranked number 33 in the national ranks. Before he played for Spire, he played for a school called Detroit Old Redford Academy. He played there all the way up to his junior year, and he was putting up big numbers, averaging 27 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 steals a game. He was just an overall dominant player who outplayed his competition almost every night. He was getting a lot of attention from some great D1 programs like Xavier, Alabama, Iowa, Michigan, and Michigan State. After weighing his options, he felt that the best fit for him in this game was at Michigan State. And legendary coach Tom Izzo was very excited about him coming onto the team. He just loved how he played with such a competitive nature. And the fact that even though he was very athletic, he could still shoot the ball on a high level. With his abilities, he had a lot of potential to help the team out. Due to his athleticism again, he could be able to play different positions on the wing, he could help out on rebounding, and last, he had the potential to be a lockdown defender. His skill set is just a rare combination, and Michigan State was going to be using him in any way that they could. In the present day, he is playing his freshman season at Michigan State, and things aren't going as expected for him. He came into the starting role after one of their star players, Joshua Langford, got hurt. So he basically was thrown into the fire. But Rocket Watts actually responded pretty decent, averaging 7 points and 3 rebounds in his first 8 games. He started off good, looking to improve on that. But now he is battling some injuries, unfortunately. He strained a muscle in his left leg, so he is going to be sitting out until further notice. But even though he was just declared injured, he said that this injury has been bothering him since the summertime. So the fact that he was able to push through the pain and still perform for his teammates really shows this character. Hopefully he can get back healthy as soon as possible so that he can go show everyone his true potential. We just gonna have to wait and see. Peace. I'm half hell. I got two thirty, bro. Got a thirty. We got like ninety shell. I be a lie. I sat here and told you I never took it ill. But I shake them off. I learn me a lesson for every time I feel. I'm working hard. I'm trying to go far and only time to tell. I don't put the clock. I'm thugging hard. I don't need no wishing well. These niggas be quick to tell. My baby mama gon' pay the bill. See the grade go against the grain. All hundreds on Instagram. Wedding cake. I'm a Mary Jane. If I'm in a jam, I'm quick to blame. I'm the man, nigga. I'm the man. 
Me and my brother on a ride a man, we gon' ride a man Cause old Gabby stepped 195th, yeah, he a ride